Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to Krasberg once again. Today we are going to be working on the castle again and keep on just expanding on this wonderful uh, little project of Krasberg. Before we move on, I just want to inform you guys that uh, leaving a like down below is the best way to show your support for my content and for my channel. So if you are a person that likes my videos and keep watching most of them make sure to leave a like down below i really do appreciate it thank you so much guys uh, anyway back to the building the first building we're doing today is the third gatehouse which is going to be dividing the second courtyard with the royal courtyard where the the lord of krasberg or the lord emperor of um, the Western occupation will be like staying and having his own quarters and his family and also where the great hall and feast hall and all of that is going to be within the, um, the final courtyard uh, which this uh, gatehouse will be defending. We're also doing a couple of servants buildings uh, and stables and trying to connect it all up in cool different ways. Uh, you can see here we're building uh, one of the servants building which is connected into the gatehouse in a cool way uh, which allows for a very cool um, very cool uh, interior division up between the different parts. Then we're doing the stables here which is this nice yellow building which uh, is um, based just next to the main a big tower which is going to be what we're doing today uh, and uh, like the biggest part of today's episode is the main uh, dungeon or the tallest part of the castle that's something i really want to just get in there so we have some reference when it comes to scale of the complete project here uh, but we're also doing some minor things around here so we're doing this little bridge which is going to be um, leading the servants into the main building for um, let's say they're serving food or uh, picking up uh, the Lord anything like that they can use this and travel without having to go all the way down and they can also travel um, without getting wet during uh, rainy peri periods and stuff but here it is the big Don John the biggest part or tallest part of the castle being built today uh, with um, a very cool yellow color and then this big bright upper part uh, which is um, extended out almost like matriculations but the matriculations are not there so it's just for um, decoration so today we are going to start over here just flying a little bit and checking out what we have you can see the main dungeon the tallest part looking pretty cool from here I love the way that just changed the entire skyline of this castle here and uh, looks pretty cool I think um, very interesting and um, yeah just shaped it up also together with the other buildings which is uh, over in this area right here we're gonna start by uh, going through the main first gate uh, and looking up at the tower from here and just feel the way that changes this whole first courtyard um, it's going to be even better once you do the, uh, the feast hall, which is going to be the red one. But for now, we only have this one, and it just takes the build to another level, I think. And I'm so happy with how that turned out. I love it, uh, and uh, very, very happy with that. We had a great time during a stream, doing a lot of interior work on that. So that was fun. Uh, you can barely see it from here, but again, it's just changing the skyline, uh, just adding depth. Uh, beyond what we already had so I like that uh, we'll keep on just walking up here uh, which we uh, where we get to the, the gatehouse uh, which is uh, also kind of cool it has a, a similar kind of texture as uh, a lot of the um, other older looking buildings here uh, it's not like plaster or anything it's more worn down uh, but this has a lot of nice defensive features which we're gonna kind of discuss a little bit here because I think when you're doing a castle, it's important to not purely focus on the defense, but at least have had that in mind when you're designing it. So here we have uh, we have arrow slits here and here, and then we have matriculations on the top here and arrow slits. Um, so you have a lot of areas to shoot at people trying, whoops, to get through that door here, uh, which is very good for defending your castle. We also have this portcullis which can be lowered down uh, to keep them and then a second gate in the back 
to stop anyone that actually got through the portcullis if that happens. We have arrow slits within this a gate itself so you can kind of trap them in between this gate and the portcullis uh, and there's murder holes above to drop rocks or hot sand on top of them. Uh, in the back here it's pretty cool it's not as defensible because I don't want the people to be able to use this part or use the gatehouse uh, as like a sanctuary if they manage to take it so there's no way to defend yourself from this side within the gatehouse so if your enemies manage to actually get uh, or take control of the gatehouse they won't be able to kind of use that as uh, a fort or a way to keep themselves safe uh, a little look in between the arrow slits here and on this side right here just very simple uh, one of the things i really like about this area is the the outside stair leading up uh, which kind of uh, makes this cool archway into the servants building so uh, we'll check that out later but for now we're going to move around here and move up through here and into the gatehouse where you can see all of the mechanisms for making this functioning here uh, you can see the arrow slits uh, where you can shoot down from here we also have the mechanism for the portcullis which uh, oh i forgot a few chains here uh, we can do that real quick by like that so you can raise that up and you have like some wheels and kegs and stuff to uh, to uh, pull that up uh, and even more um, arrow slits and stuff like that which is cool and we can move further up and get to the matriculations up here where we have yeah, you can see here a nice just straight view straight down you could drop rocks at them you could shoot arrows straight down there's no way to really hide from here uh, which also leads out to the battlements here where you can also have people armed uh, just shooting down from here uh, which is pretty cool uh, which leads into the the tower here as well but we're gonna take that later so uh, we can go back here uh, this leads into the other building here so we're gonna check that out later but uh, let's go all the way up and check out the top part which is just used for storage for now uh, but it's a pretty cool looking area and could probably be used for something more uh, we have some nice big windows and stuff to get some natural light in here but uh, for now just storage in here so that's about that for the attic of this now let's run down uh, and check out the servants building which uh, can uh, be entered two ways you can enter it up here together with the gatehouse and also down here which is kind of the main entrance so I, I guess we'll go here uh, and uh, look at this so uh, we have a big feast hall where you can uh, eat your food you have a nice fireplace to heat yourself up with a little entrance or exit to uh, the training yard for the barracks you can shoot arrows and stuff like that uh, practice aiming uh, and um, yeah just a little co cozy backyard here uh, to the battlements as well so just kind of a, a cool little area I think and then we have a really cool kitchen area as well to prepare some simple food for the people uh, living here in the servants building so that's that uh, to get to the second floor we actually have to go out and use this um, staircase which leads into a couple of rooms and a bathroom thing where uh, you can uh, take your bath if you need to and also take a dump where you can do that uh, and just kind of like a washing room which um, is kind of uh, um, public or for all the people living in the servant here servant's house uh, and then we just have a couple of bunk beds for um, the servants to sleep in and we have a lot of these rooms which are just packed with beds because it's going to be just a bunch of people serving the Lord here. Uh, here we can also see a way it's entering into um, the gatehouse. Let's close the door. Uh, and we have a, a, yeah, an internal stair within this building. So you don't have to use the gatehouse. Which takes you up to um, the third floor. Which again has a connection to the gatehouse here. Uh, and a couple of rooms. 
as you can see here uh, there is also another one right here and uh, a little oh this I forgot usually I just forget a couple of rooms here and there uh, but this leads to this uh, bridge which is gonna take us into the main building of the castle uh, but I love this uh, we're gonna check it out a little bit just look at the details here uh, the curve is kind of gentle um, and it's all built within the same style but a lot of different blocks to add details and I'm very happy with how we managed to to make this look uh, within a stream we did so thank you guys for helping out giving points and tips as we kind of built that um, yeah anyway uh, we can go all the way up to the attic man I keep forgetting places this is not completely done apparently uh, I need to <laughs> to to just take a small trip for myself to make sure uh, it's all finished before I start recording. I just have so much to do uh, lately. I haven't been able to uh, double check. Uh, up here is a little temple for the servants. Uh, for um, you know, they can just get up here and pray or do whatever they need to do. Uh, we have um, three statues here. We have the wisdom one, the death one. And the warrior one, I think. So that is Rockies. That's Ruar. And I can't remember the name of the God of Wisdom for now. Uh, but it's all in my documents on Discord if you're interested. Uh, so you can read on that. Uh, and also some cool uh, uh, wooden paintings and stuff in here. Just to take it, to make it look pretty cool. Uh, I need to finish this. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a little more stuff we can add up here. But that's something we can do in between the episodes. I don't worry about that. Uh, I have a lot of stuff to do. So, yeah, let's go out here again and, and check out the stables. Uh, I realize this video is going to be a little longer than usual. But hey, it's all fun, uh, I think. So, don't worry about that. Uh, here is going to be the Lord's Stable. This is where probably the Lord's best horse will stay uh, and maybe his son best horse or his lady's best horse uh, would be staying here uh, but of course there's other stables for all the horses but this is like the premium stable for the best horses of the castle and we can also go up here it's kind of dark uh, but it's kind of hard to to light up here but um, this is the stable guy uh, or his apartment where he kind of lives um, with his family uh, having a little kitchen to prepare some food uh, and uh, stuff like that we also have uh, the master bedroom up here which is bigger um, with a nice view over here and yeah some storage and stuff like that so just uh, the stable guys room uh, he also have a little area like a, um, um, not a garderobe, but uh, just like a bathroom thing, and then uh, some storage in here. So uh, very lot of stuff just squeezed in a small space here. But this is a stable guy's uh, room. Um, can this? This can be connected here. Um, man, there's so much stuff. I've just been pumping out. Uh, or trying to pump out as much content as possible, so I kind of forgot a couple of things. Uh, but I, I'm, it's good that I realize that now, so we can, so we can uh, fix that uh, for the next episode. Uh, but that was the stables uh, <laughs> with a couple of flaws, uh, as usual. Uh, it's time for us to check out the Don John, uh, the big tower here. First of all, I just want to point out this cool porch thing I built, uh, which is um, it, it acts as a little balcony. But also the entrance which goes into here uh, where we have two empty rooms this is on purpose because I need you guys to help me with what to put in these rooms so down below leave a comment hopefully you guys can help me and maybe you watching right now will be the one to decide what to put in these two rooms uh, so make sure to do that uh, we have a little moose on the wall here or a head uh, and I try to really put a lot of effort into the interior the wall designs and stuff like that I need to figure out a way to do this because that's kind of cool to connect those up but anyway uh, here we also have a nice green hallway again just putting a lot of effort into all of this 
uh, adding depth and detail and stuff uh, but this leads out to the balcony which is pretty cool um, a nice big window here pretty cool from the inside as well uh, and this will lead into the feast hall which is going to be here so it's going to be yeah uh, conveniently connected uh, with this little stair right here in here is the, a part of the defense of this tower here uh, so this room is mainly just to keep guards in um, uh, giving access to the, um, the arrow slits and matriculations here to uh, shoot down one thing uh, you might be wondering why is do you have matriculations here there's a roof straight below um, and you have rocks here and stuff and that is because if people get through the first gate uh, first of all, you'll be shooting them from here, boom, just bombarding them with arrows from the arrow slits through the gate. But if they get through there, they'll probably search cover between or under the roof here, which is just a little um, storage thing. And you just drop rocks to just destroy that thing to make sure they have no place to hide from your arrows or in your defense. Uh, this leads out to the battlements on either side here. So that's kind of cool. And we have that on this side here as well. Uh, the connecting up to the, um, the gatehouse with uh, some beautiful little trees and just stuff here. Uh, I, I just really want to build uh, Krasburg as a very, very colorful castle. So I'm trying to add a lot of trees and flowers and colors whenever I can. Uh, let's move further up and check out the ladies quarters or the boudoir or the area which is uh, more or less only for the lady uh, I can barely go in here myself oh there's people here <laughs> who that be uh, that's kind of scary um, but I can barely get in here myself because I'm a dude but I think I have permission I asked the Queen very nicely uh, she has a big bed here uh, which would be super comfortable. He also has a spinning wheel to make uh, cloth and, and do some work. You know, uh, medieval times it was very common for the ladies to, to make their own dresses and stuff like that. Uh, she also has a little bathtub to wash herself um, and some sitting areas. And just in general, a beautiful quarters. I wouldn't mind having this for myself, to be honest. And it's just this big double door with this big window to just uh, really just show the wealth of uh, of the family here and then a little uh, bathroom thingy with this toilet here so yeah that's that with some flowers to make it look uh, to make it smell <laughs> all uh, nice and stuff in here if we go even further up here we get into the lord's chamber this is the most impressive part of the tower it's the top level and it is, uh, we spent, I spent over two hours just on this. Uh, we did it on the stream. You can ch check out the replay if you want to. And, and just see how I built this. But uh, yeah, so th the thing here is, this is where the Lord can just be for himself. Uh, he has his bed here, his books, everything is here. Uh, so here we have some bookshelves. Uh, we have his armor. Uh, we also have a big fireplace to heat this area up and then just an area to just enjoy that maybe read some books and stuff and then a private balcony with just a beautiful view over the courtyard the castle and then the city uh, if the render distance is high enough uh, so uh, not too shabby this also leads out to a little uh, pulley system where we can uh, like pull you up um, and like kegs of wine or stuff or just food or other resources up to this place here um, and as you can see just spending a lot of time on uh, texturing the walls and text or making cool pillars and just adding a lot of layers and depth to the interiors which is something I haven't been able to do mostly in the previous or previous builds because of the scale but finally we have a big build to work with uh, up here we have the Lord's bed, which is very big and comfy. Uh, he has a fireplace to uh, heat him up in winter times just next to his bed, so he's always comfortable. Um, and just a big area here. Uh, he has some sitting areas, a lot of nice windows with just great views over the city from here. 
uh, and he also have of course uh, a bathroom thing toilet area like that and then uh, just a big washing room over here where I have a big tub and it's just very uh, noble looking very royal feeling in here um, yeah, you can wash his hands and stuff as well but in general uh, just getting cleaned up here relaxing and there is this little ladder which probably wouldn't be used by the Lord too much but it's just to get up uh, like above the room and up to the attic where uh, we can store some stuff so um, yeah nothing too impressive up here but uh, at least it's something there and, and I like to use utilize the space that we got so uh, I think that is it for today's episode let's see if we can get out of here um, and I'm just gonna fly by check it out on uh, from air so uh, I think if we go down here we will be able to get out jump up here and fly over and check it out so anyway guys thank you so much for watching today i really do hope that you enjoyed if so make sure to smack that like button and if you haven't done it already make sure to subscribe it's been vigo man and i'm out <laughs>